the game. Hey guys, Gavin here from Viral Tech Gaming. If you didn't see the last video I posted that ended up getting taken down, this is the new studio. I have a lavalier mic that connects to the Zoom H1 handy recorder. It's not very handy. I'm using my Canon T2i to film because it's amazing. Like, yeah. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a studio light for under $30. Let's get started. What you'll need. A 10 to $20 light fixture. A small hand saw. A scrap piece of 2x4. A smaller scrap piece of wood. A random assortment of long screws. A couple small screws. A couple fender washers a drill bit, and a screwdriver. First what you want to do is remove the screw at the top of and bottom of the light fixture. Once you do that you can remove the panel on top. This will reveal the inside wiring and it looks a lot like this. If it doesn't look like this you probably got a different type of light fixture. Make sure that your cord is unplugged, just because you don't want to electrocute yourself. Now this is how uh, how long I want my stick to be at the bottom, so I just marked a spot on the inside, and then I'll mark a spot right underneath, that way I know where to put the stick on after. Now you want to drill your hole in the top of the light fixture, so move the wires because you don't want to get them sucked up into the drill. I just took the two end pieces out. And you'd be surprised how hard it is to drill through this, so make sure that your screwdriver is on very high speed and that there's a block of wood underneath it. I didn't have the block of wood and it ended up bending my sides. Now on the bottom it had a little flap, so I just took some vice grips and pulled it off. Pliers will work too if you have this. And then you just go ahead and throw your stick underneath and we're going to screw that down. So just make sure it's all lined up. Throw your washer screw into it. Screw it down. Do the same to the bottom. My mom asked me why I styled my hair before I put it into the infamous red beanie, and so I had to explain to her that I have to look good for my fans. 4% of them are girls. Then I realized that with a total view count of 309,553, that makes 8.5 misclicks on one of our links, 2 perverted old men saying they're teenage girls and one clinically insane obsessed fat chick named Becky. Now you're going to prepare to put the top back on, so I just slid my two end parts in. And you want to make sure they're on the right sides. If they're on the wrong sides, you will blow up your light bulbs, probably. I actually have no idea. But uh, just slide on the top. Make sure the fl French flags are pointing up, not down. I made that mistake the first time I put it on, and I had to unscrew it and screw it back on the other one. So just take your screw and screw it in. And you want to make sure that you don't screw it in too tight, because if you screw it in too tight, it can easily uh, strip the metal on the inside. Do that to both sides, and you are ready to start working on the bottom. This is what it should look like on the back. And this is what the front should look like. Now you're ready to start on the base. So you want to measure how long you have. The longer the better, but you don't want a whole 2x4. Mine is 37 inches, so that makes 12 and a third. And I'm just going to mark it 12 and a third. 
because that is exactly one third of the length of my 2x4. And you want to use a square. My saw is a square. Uh, and you just want to make a straight line for when you make a cut. Now the fun part, cutting through a 2x4. It's even better when it's 2 in the morning. I'm kidding, don't cut wood at 2 in the morning like I did here. It's not fun. Alright, so I made sure that my screws were in the right place by measuring them side by side and then I just screwed them in. I used really big deck screws, the bigger the screw you use the better, but don't want, you don't want to use like lag bolts because then it'll like break the end of your 2x4. I used more fender washers on the bottom of this, that way I wouldn't break the wood and the first screw I put in I pre-drilled because I didn't want to break it. And when I put this screw in it did crack a little bit. I think you'll be able to see that when I get it all the way down. Yeah, so you can see just barely how where it cracked. And then for extra stability, I threw in two screws on the side of it. That way it wouldn't be able to fall over on the side, break one of the screws out, and pivot on that. This is completely optional. I think you should do it, but you don't have to. It'll work without these. One of the problems that I noticed was it fell forward and if you have light bulbs in there and you're on concrete it'll easily break so my easy fix was just to throw another like 4 inch piece of 2x4 on the front and then I just pre-drilled it. So this is what the light looks like. It has a pretty short cord so you might need an extension but it just plugs in and there's your own video light. In Soviet the Russia, light turns on you. Isn't that the right, Becky? It's actually true though. Well, kind of. Fluorescent lights don't work well in temperatures under 60 degrees, though. So... Don't we look alike? Next week I'll make a test video using only this light. This has been Viral Tech Gaming. Thanks for watching.